Pashang ah, Beltalona 315 looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. Lots of lots of time before Nix yet, but we got a lot of things to be excited about now and right around the corner. When is that corner? That's anybody's guess. CIG is being extra CIG. But let's look at what we could be excited about, some things you might know about, and probably a few you don't. Stick around. 315 brings a ton, a ton of changes. And if you've been in the PTU, you've probably experienced several of them, many of them, and some of the iterations and bug fixes that came along with it. Um, most of us, the critical mass here for Ghost Knife is going to be experiencing 315 for the first time when it goes live in the Persistent Universe. You may be looped into the patch notes. You may have watched some of Citizen Con. Um, you probably have a pretty good understanding of what's coming around the corner. But there are UI changes. There is there is a lot. Way too much for me to list in here. I want to go over just the pertinent stuff right now. Um, and we're going to start realistically with um, regaining credits. There is a persistence wipe coming and this is one of the main concerns. Um, Ghost Knife does have a number of strategies ready to go once 315 is live in the now, the more people that we have involved with these, chiefly the mining endeavors are going to be where we're able to make a lot of money. Um, so those of you that do have your pledge ships and uh, pledge equipment may want to get out and perhaps lead a, a bounty division or bounty crew uh, to get out there and make some immediate cash. But the big money out of the gate here is going to be in Argo mining, prospector mining, in large groups, bringing it back to a refinery, refining it, and selling it after a number of hours. So there is gonna be a little bit of a return on investment here in terms of time, but the payout is gonna be large. There's a couple of people here, especially in our, um, in the Callisto Commission that are really, really well versed with that loop better than I am. And we're gonna be leaning on everybody to kind of help coordinate that stuff. And it's gonna be pretty cool to see this in a larger scale. And hopefully, as CIG has toted, a more stable and consistent universe. And it's nice now that we're not going to be losing stuff. Um, I know there are a few people that have pledged for some ships that are going to be looking at maybe doing some now viable cargo runs. But there's a lot of really, really big money-making opportunities that are around the corner that otherwise just weren't there or weren't viable because of the amount of risk. Now, the more people we have involved in this, the more quickly we're going to be able to get a couple hundred grand into everybody's pockets across the board all of our org members. But the intention here is to get everybody enough credits out of the gate to maybe customize their ships, to get them back in the bounty hunting game, if that's that's their gig, or to get them a prospector, to get them out mining asteroids on a consistent basis so that we all have access to it more, right? The more well-armed you guys are, the better off and the stronger Ghost Knife is. Um, Relearning the ropes, what do I mean by this? There's quite a few green members in the group, and this is a fantastic time for all of us to start on that same level again. There's kind of a less of an intimidation factor, and you're, you know, boots on the ground with everybody else. Relearning some of the new the new changes, maybe for you it's the first time learning some, some gameplay loops or encountering a bug for the first time. This is where group gameplay, it's not just more fun, it's a lot more sustainable. It's a lot more tolerable when you run into some of those issues. There are not a lot of guides out there and it's going to take a lot of a lot of time for some of the new guides to catch up with you. Um, while YouTube is still going to be an excellent resource, um, I'm encouraging you guys to really use the wellspring of knowledge that is here with the Callista Commission and with many of our veteran members. Um, this is a great time to build that camaraderie, to experience the game at, at a fresh start together. Um, there are no silly questions. There, there are no game-breaking or org-breaking uh, accidents. This this is a, an alpha game. You just do away with that pressure aspect. We're here to have fun first and foremost and do it in the group and have laughs. That's that's the, that's the chief, that's the top of the list. Though. This is what we're, we're aiming to strive for. Um, and as we get our feet under us with 315, we're gonna be able to get more ambitious. Now, these pertinent changes that are really coming um, most of us were waiting for 350 to drop because of that persistence wipe. You know, everything, all your progress is gone, all the items you've approved are gone. You kind of play now, you're doing it for the love of it. And that's totally wicked and totally awesome. But I can appreciate why some people are taking a break right now. Some other great games out there too. Totally get it. Zero offense taken. But when 315 comes back, 
you're going to see a lot more activity and we hope to see you around um, as usual we're going to be meeting up in the, the star lounges pairing off perhaps or just keeping one large group depending on the activities that we want uh, to employ at any given time it, it's nice to have those options so just even come out and say hello right um, one thing to remember if you are if you are looking to do some of these larger gameplay things, I want you to, to put on a special set of glasses for me. The no pressure glasses, especially if you're new to this game. Um, remember here, we're all on that same page. We're all on that same level. There is a large, very, very large learning curve in this game. Um, and unless you're putting in, you know, a consistent amount of hours almost every day, it's it's hard to pick up on that. Girl. Don't worry if you don't know everything. I mean, I've, I've spent probably tens of thousands of hours researching this game and I'm still blown away every other day by some new facet that I otherwise didn't have a handle on or had never even heard of in the first place. It's intimidating. It's less intimidating when you're doing it with people that have got your back and that's what your fellow belters are. You've got your back. Now, Ghost Knife speciali Specializations. We're getting a new game loop in, medical, um, which brings with it a new downstate, a bunch of new items, a whole new set of tactics and some really fun stuff. And of course, some shady shit too, but if you haven't had that or haven't heard that yet, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise for you at your first landing zone. <laughs> um, start thinking about your chosen career path. While this is a holistic organization, that's all of these different divisions and gameplay loops are gonna be working together to really strengthen and bolster the abilities and the tools that are disposable as a, at our disposal, as an organization and as individuals. Start thinking about what's your specific and individualized place in the verse going to look like? What what brought you to Star Citizen? Are you you know, are you like me? Are you gonna be want to be pushing the front the frontier or the boundaries of known space? Are you gonna want to be base building? Are you gonna be wanted, you know, salvage? Is that what you want to do? Be cutting up ship parks in, in, in orbit from a a massive space battle that just went totally fucking south. You want to be is mining your jam. What's your gig? You know, there's a lot of stuff that I'm sure we haven't even been tipped off to yet. But now it's kind of the time to start thinking about stuff, right? And maybe maybe your chosen career path isn't even fleshed out yet, isn't in the game. And just are that's going to be the case for a few of you guys. But to have a backup ancillary making money or money making avenue. It's never a bad idea. So if you want to learn those those mining loops, if you want to learn cargo hauling, if you want to learn deliveries, there are a lot of things that you could be doing now that you can get really efficient at. It could be a secondary skill set or a complementary skill set for you just as an individual, never mind the or when the game finally does get a little bit more fleshed out. And there's a lot of stuff coming in the pipeline very soon. 316 is supposedly bringing the first round of salvage. We'll see. We'll see. This has been a routinely pushed back and delayed feature. But we know that the next steps for this game are implementing the big gameplay changes. It's coming. Start thinking like a belter. And we'll see ya. Star side. I'll be sure to let everybody know here once once I have a firm handle on 315. If you get it before I do, or if the commissioner is gonna handle it, don't let anybody wait. Download that patch as soon as you can. We'll see you in the Star Lounge. Let's go make some money. Belteloda. The more you share, the more your bowl will be plentiful. Take care. Have a lovely day. You know, no. Hey, you're still here. I guess this is a good time to tell you how awesome you are. In all seriousness, no. What makes this organization something to be proud of is its members. And seeing as everybody's on that same level, I want to thank you. And I want to thank you personally. In on out. And I'll see you star side.